Ibis Clear Capital. Now, I know I talked this one up before, but what can I tell you? I'm in love. This is Ibis's stock since it went public 11 months ago. Look at those curves. So voluptuous. So full-figured. I'm genuinely attracted to it. Not sexually so much, although after half a dozen vodka tonics, I can talk myself into pretty much anything. No, I am in love with this intellectually. Because Ibis is run by a man named Walt Camby. Walt was one of the first guys to tap into the true market potential of high-frequency trading. Look at this. Home run after home run after home run. And now he has finally gone public. Folks, there isn't a better bet out there. Not bonds, not IRAs, not your savings account. None of them are as safe as Walt Camby. Cut it, Jim. Patty, put the numbers back up there. Give me another fix, Con. Come on. Oh, my God, I'm going weak in the knees. I was exaggerating oh, to make a point. You lost the bet, Lee. Now, hey, I made a bad call. All right, how much are you into Ibis for? 60 grand. 60 grand? This is about 60 grand. Pocky change to you, right? Yeah, it kind of is. Okay, look, you give me five minutes, and I can get you 60 grand in cash here, and I can make you whole. Well, that won't make me whole, Lee. All right, what's a number that will? 800 million. It's gonna take me a little longer to get 800 million here. Yeah, that's how much we're in fucking poof in a thin air, you dumb shit. So that's how much you owe us, because I'm not the only one watching your show. I'm not the only shareholder who got screwed over the here. The only shareholder here with a gun. You think you're fucking funny, Lee, huh? Okay. It's funny to you? Lee, don't provoke him. You must think I'm so stupid. You're trying to fucking buy me off. I'm not stupid, Lee. I walked in here knowing there was only one way this show was going to end. I came in here knowing I'm not walking out. Sit down. 